Let's go, bub. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys are seeing behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand stores like garage sales, flea markets, and thrift stores because I absolutely love collecting all of these nostalgic childhood pieces from my past, but it's not fun to me to just get online. To get on eBay and buy it, it is all about the thrill of the hunt. And today we are in the Northwest Arkansas area, hitting up all of the different flea markets. I actually think I have three different videos from our trip up to Northwest Arkansas. And I'm telling you, flea markets are insane in this area. Uh, the particular one that we are at today had so much stuff that I actually had to stop buying different toys and collectibles because our cart was full. Between me, uh, my dad, and my stepmom, we had, a, we had a shopping cart and it was filled with stuff, guys. So uh, I'm so excited to get into this week's episode. Everything, there's everything in this episode from VHS, DVDs, games, uh, toys, so much to see uh, in this week's episode. But before we get into it, I want to thank Boxu for sponsoring this video. Boxu is a premium Japanese snack box subscription that delivers original assortments of Japanese snacks and tea pairings. Every month you receive a box filled with delicious Japanese exclusive snacks with a different theme. The snacks will always be different, which is a nice added touch to make sure you are always receiving a variety of different snacks to try. I just received my second box from Boxu, and this one was even better than the first. The snack I wanted to highlight in this video, I think is called Kaisa Razu, Kisa Razu, I'm not sure, but they are blueberry gummies and they're amazing. Now these are exactly what they sound like, basically little sweet blueberry gummies packed with flavor and a juicy center. Boxu is also the perfect gift for anyone in your life who appreciates Japanese snacks and culture, especially during a time where people aren't able to travel as easily as they would like. But not only would you be giving them the Boxu subscription box, but also you would technically be giving them the chance to win free tickets to Japan because Boxu is having a giveaway. They'll be picking five lucky winners to win a free set of tickets to Japan. Anyone who is subscribed before December 31st is automatically entered. I'll include a link in my description so you can check out the terms and conditions and other methods of entry. If you want to sign up for the Boxu subscription box and try out these delicious exclusive treats, you can use my code RETRO10 and link to receive 10% off your subscription box. I'm seriously loving the subscription box so far and I'm excited to get my next box soon. Again, I want to thank Boxu for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the hunt. Some controllers. I don't know if they're special or not. I, mean, I think those are just like skins. Yeah, I don't think those are really special. So this is actually the one I've been to before, and I found some pretty cool, some pretty cool things. Okay, yeah, Dad said he saw a lot of starting lineups in here. These were really cool back in the day. Some people will do anything to get a baseball, but if you buy five of your favorite starting lineup figures, you can get this official starting lineup baseball free. I had three uh, Ken Griffey Jr. ones. There's Nolan Ryan. Dad, did you know the years Nolan Ryan pitched? 1968 to like 1993. That long of a uh, career. It's pretty crazy. Uh, this is cool. Here's an Energizer Bunny Squeeze Light. This is right up my alley. What year is this? 1991. <laughs> For years, you've seen some commercials where one battery company's toys outlast the other toys. Energizer was never invited to their playoffs. A word to the wise, Energize. I love it. So this is like, this is the stuff you get when you go to flea markets. You never knew you needed it. And then you see it and then you need it. Dad, I'm getting this. Energizer Bunny Squeeze Light. I remember this specific set, the Sky, Skybox Z-Force, Jason Kidd. I know I've not talked about it very much on the channel, but me and dad used to collect cards. Remember that, dad? We would organize them. How about that auction we went to um, and party? We had a crazy auction experience where we basically could have bought 
uh, a collection of cards worth hundreds of thousands and we did not and here we are now wishing we could have done that here's a michael jordan picture i'm already seeing stuff guys that i like this is this is more my speed this kind of flea market all the bobbleheads oh man team oh, usa i mean you had everybody on that team man hakeem michael jordan clyde drexler was clyde drexler on that team i can't remember i'm already excited about my energizer bunny light we got uh, i like this here's a just a box with some comics but it has got polyworld over there remember how big i was in the pokemon dad i wanted to be in a pokemon tournament so bad here is a star wars figure um, that guy don't know star wars very well but this is kind of cool 1996 10 bucks so we were just saying this this kind of flea market is more our speed because it's not like vintage type crafty things it's just kind of like random books movies games uh, you know a weird ornament <laughs> It's like you don't know. Always on the hunt for shoes for my son. For my son! He gave no, me no, this! No, for my son! Pixel Game Squad has made that uh, saying famous for me. Never meant for that to happen, but here we are. Uh, so he's a nine, those are 11. Not quite, I probably should just buy them anyways though. He can wear them whenever he does fit into them because his foot free and grows every single day. Oh, got before? Monopoly. Yeah, I actually have. That's Monopoly Mario Kart Gamer. Pull that out real quick. I actually haven't seen that Nintendo one on top. I've, so I've seen this one. This one has like all of uh, the, little, the, the little people in their carts, all the different figures. I don't know if I've seen this one before. So you got Monopoly Nintendo Collector's Edition for 30 bucks. I've never seen that one before. It looks <laughs> cool, but probably pass. How much uh, are the Legos right there next to it, Dad? There's a Harry Potter Lego set. These go really for really good money, and I bet 25, 25 bucks. It's always hard to know if it's complete though. You know, that's a lot of pieces. Dad, look, look what it is. Dad bought me one of these one year for Christmas. It's a Rolly kit. Hi, I'm Joy Mangano, and this is my Rolly kit. And now a Rolly kit just for kids and their toys. My kids call it the Rolly Poly. I use it for my little boy's toys. When he wants to play with them, I just pull them out and let him go for it. Storage organizer. Remember that? I sure don't. Yeah, you bought me that a couple years ago for Christmas and like it rolls out and has different compartments and then you roll it back up. It's kind of strange, but you did get it for me. I don't, I will say, honestly, I don't know where it is now. Though. <laughs> <laughs> All that hard earned money. Yeah. Here, hey, we got an NES game. Paperboy. Oh, I love that game. Paperboy, 20 bucks. For Paperboy, that's probably right in line, but cool to see. And then we got Duck Hunt, good old Duck Hunt, man. You know that it, you can't play Duck Hunt on new TVs; no. they have to be CRT TVs. Got some games over here. Excite Truck. I can honestly say I've never seen this before. Is it like Excite Bike? I'm, like, I'm assuming it is. So if these are not taped, you always got to do this, Dad. You got to open them up. You never know. Hey, actually, that's a good one. Smackdown versus Raw. People don't take the time to open these up, and sometimes you can find some gems. Ten bucks. I bet this is, yep. Mario Sluggers. Great game. Classic uh, old VHS. What is this one? I see, I see what I'm interested in. Mummies Alive? Y'all, this is one of those 90s cartoons that I've never heard of, but I gotta know more about it now. Getting it, that's a dollar, and we will uh, educate ourselves together because I've never heard of this. Let me know down in the comments if you know anything about Mummies Alive. These actually sell pretty well sometimes right here. Y'all remember this? CKY4. The latest and greatest. All right, picking up some DVDs and some Blu-rays. My son would probably want this, but I'm not gonna tell my father I saw it. I'm just gonna pass over that one. Oh my gosh. 
Look at that. ET. Guys, it is gorgeous. It's an ET TV tray. Oh, I'm, so I'm a sucker right now for anything ET, Dad. I'm, I love this. And I've been wanting to find a little TV tray for, for my son. Yeah. Uh, whenever he, uh, you know, is eating at eating his dinner. And look at that. It's got the legs. It's got the legs. A little rusted, but hey, it's okay. 20 bucks. It's character. That's, it's character. That's right. There's another ET one. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to pick, guys. E. Oh, T. man. Collection. It's got, yeah, do you know who that is? You know who the little girl was? Oh. It's our first movie. I'm pointing at ET when I'm saying that. It's, a, it's our first movie. It's Drew Barrymore. So... I mean, it's not really even close for me. It's this one for me. I like that one a lot. That one's cool. If I if I came in here and just saw that one, I totally would have got that one. But man, making having to make hard decisions at the flea market. All right, I see a couple things over here. Got some figures. Here is a Team and T figure of Leo. How old is this? Two thousand two. I can't quite see guys, but I can tell he's not like an old vintage one. So gonna leave that one behind. Whoa, look at this guys. Lots of toys, lots of collectibles. Mainly wrestling over here. Got a couple of dinos, Star Trek. So close, close to the things that I like, but not for me. Okay, here are a bunch of games. I don't know, yeah, Street Fighter. A couple bucks would be a good deal. Two ninety nine. Hey, I mean, anytime I see decent games like this for for that cheap, you gotta pick them up. So we'll get that. Here's Smurfs. I don't know if I've ever seen that one, but it's like pretty roached out. All right, and then here are all of the VHS. Anything different? I mean, hey, I have this already, but always cool to see uh, the Brave Little Toaster. Yeah, that's about it. And then here are some old toys. I don't see anything right off the bat. It's super interesting. Yeah, I'll see anything there. All right, and then a ton of comics. Here's the newer TMNT van. And these are our X-Men, 99 cents. Not bad for some old, these look to be, these look to be 90s. I actually really like that one. 99 cent. X-Men comics are tough for me to pass up, but there's so many too. There's like the X-Men Adventures, there's X-Factor, X-Men Classic, there's another another series. Are these all X-Men? Here, I'm gonna pull, pull them out like that. X-Men Phoenix, the uncanny X-Men. Y'all tell me down below if there's like a certain series that's more desirable to, uh, to collect for. I like these two a lot. This one right there, like a Cyclops doing this thing. All right, I might dig through these for a little bit and then pick out the ones that I think are worth talking about. I'm gonna do that now. Y'all, here is some stuff. Check this out. I already see something X-Men that looks pretty rad. What is this? Wolverine phone. Get out of town. And it's in the box, y'all. Okay, I'm so pumped. Got, I think, four phones now at this point. And if this is even reasonable, even reasonable because it's in the dang box. Look at that. You gotta see this. So, we are looking at be under 30. Be under 30. It's 30 exactly. Wolverine, where have you been? Somewhere cold. <laughs> yes, look at this. If this was just by itself, I might not get it. I don't know, I probably would still get it to be honest. But it's in the dang box. There's something about, there's something about like X-Men colors that really get me. And this is, this is it for me, man. Okay, and there's, there's actually other stuff in here too. You got, here's a Sonic coffee mug. Here is a Genie mug and then I've never seen this one, this, this cup. Hey dad, check this out. This X-Men uh, 90s phone, and it's in the box. That is wild, so gonna get this. Can you add that to our cart? We have a cart this time. All right, we're gonna unbox that X-Men together, the X-Men uh, Wolverine phone, so 
Yeah, I'll make sure to stick around to the end of the video so we can take a better look at that phone. So pumped about that. More VHS. This could be one of my favorite uh, flea markets I've been to in a while. We're finding ET trays, X-Men phone, X-Men phone in the box. Come on, man, come on. Uh, that VHS I've never even heard of. That cartoon, don't know what that is. We have anything in here too? Always weird to me. I know I say this a thousand times, but to see, to see a VHS that I just feel like this movie isn't old enough to have a VHS. Is it really? Yeah, it is. I'm just, I'm just getting old. That's the problem. Here's the Duke. What is this? Never seen this dog movie before. I mean, obviously, I know like Beethoven and stuff like that. Never seen, never seen the Duke. Purple rain shirt. Some MJ posters, or like at least one poster. I remember getting a Scholastic Book Fair at school. Everybody was like, I'm gonna get the new whatever book. I'm like, I just wanna get Michael Jordan posters. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I got with my money. I'd come home, my parents were like, okay, Rick, you know, we gave you money for uh, some books, what'd you get? I got a poster, is that bad? All right, this is a big flea market, y'all. I mean, this is, it just kinda keeps going. Christmas stuff. Uh... You gotta give every area a quick look, even if it doesn't look like there's gonna be anything. Oh, this is just all the stuff I love, man. I feel like any at any moment, we're gonna see something, something wild. Here's one of those little, little handhelds. Battleship, nope, this one's Jeopardy. Introducing Tiger's new electronic Jeopardy. Over 2,000 questions in 30 categories. A dance between the ground and a stick. <laughs> what is the limbo? These were fun for road trips back in the day. Another one of those movies. It's like that. It's this old, really. Bring it on again. Like that has a VHS. It's so weird. Ah, uh, we found something else. Definitely '90s boxed. What is this? Fantastic Four. The Things Sky Cycle. Twenty for that. Really cool. Really cool. I'm gonna pass just because I've already found quite a few things. But I mean, come on. I love stuff like this. It's just hard to find this stuff box, Dad. Old 90s toys. Mm -hmm. And oh, here's another one. I'm missing. You guys were about to kill me in the comments. So, well, there's another one right there. This is the X-Men Space Space Writers Professor X. Look at that. 1997. Ah, let see. Here's a better picture. It looks like of a, of a bunch of them. Normally, would totally get that. But I already have the ET tray and the phone. So, I'll leave that for somebody else. But... Really cool to see. These little, these little uh, Dragon Ball figures. Look at this. They're so little and mini. What? Look at this Buzz Lightyear. Oh, like sticks to the window or something maybe. Huh, 99 cents? Get out of here. Is this real? Is this messing with me right now? Does he spin? I think I'm like getting this way off right now. I think he spins or something maybe. It feels real spinny. Hey, we'll get that for real, just to get it, just to get him something. And it's uh, 99 cents. Uh, never have seen a little mini lava lamp. More VHS, I have to stop, I have to, it's a sickness. Hey, look, more Brave Little Toaster, different Brave Little Toaster. This one is to the rescue. You don't see them very often, let alone two, two in one day. Oh, dude, I love the sing-alongs. And I have a thing for uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks VHS, so I'm definitely getting an Alvin and the Alvin and the Chipmunks sing along VHS for 50 cents. Let's go, guys! This flea market is wild. We're finding so much. I, I can't remember the last time I found this much at a at a flea market. These look like old trolls right here. Definitely look old. Uh, 19 Travis troll. Oh, this is Travis, and it's Trolled by Russ. I don't know if I'm seeing the year, but it definitely looks old. This is $6.99. If they had some battle trolls, you know I'd be all over that. Whoa, look at this one. It's a scuba troll. We're seeing really cool trolls in this area. Like we went to another flea market earlier and we found a really cool one. This one is one of my favorites I've ever seen. I don't know what year it is. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Dad, look at this troll. It's a scuba troll. That is cool. I know. Ah, 
I mean, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't even collect those types of trolls. I, you know, I have like the turtle ones. I have the battle trolls, but I just don't need it. All right, here are some toys and baseball cards and all the stuff that I love. Here's some figures. Let's see. So let's see, read along books, little bear, bunch of little cars. Ooh, Power Rangers. I should probably get one for my, for my little buddy if it's cheap. How much is it? Three ninety five. And this is, I don't know what series this is from, but we're on a little vacay right now. And my buddy needs some more Power Rangers stuff, right? Right? He doesn't have enough. This is Power Rangers. I don't know which one. I know it's, is it Samurai? We're going to pass on this one. We're going to get him just this one. Oh, uh, I see more. I see more. I know you guys are getting sick of me saying this, but look at all this stuff. Look at all the figures. More 90s figures. So this is X-Men X-Force. Black Tom. GW Brit. There's just so much here, man. There's just so much. There's a Mr. Potato Head. Lord of the Rings figures. That's super old looking. Samwise. Dude, this is, this is, this is getting wild. This is getting wild. Here's a 1983 Alvin wind-up toy. Wow. It, it's to the point where I would totally get that right now, but I've already picked up so mm -hmm. much. I'm like, who's a Pac-Man? That's... Oh yeah, they made these little little miniature plug and plays. When Pac-Man came out. Pac-Man came you, out. You couldn't find Pac-Man anywhere. Everybody was sold out. Look at this Jar Jar. Jar Jar Binks, $26.95. I love this flea market. Here are some huge, huge telly telly <laughs> teletubbies oh horrifying these are so scary put those away y'all there are a ton of dragon ball figures at this flea market like look at all these they look pretty nice too i mean they better be for 35 bucks but i mean y'all tell me down below do you guys see these around your area I don't... look at this one holy crap it's huge and it's very 90 dollars Oh, got something Gundam. Small model kit. Okay. This looks interesting. I don't know what it is, but I can tell that it's older. And it is 30. 1996. All right, what, what, are, what are you? Whoa. That dude is serious right there. I mean, I'm assuming by these prices that it's probably worth that. But if y'all know anything about this guy, let me know down below. All right, that is a wrap at this flea market. One of the best flea markets I've ever been to. I'm not even kidding. Look, look, look at this. Look, there's more cool stuff in here. Get California raisins just chilling. A bag full of old toys. We got some great stuff. Recap back in the game room. This is exactly the kind of flea market that I love to go to, guys. A lot of times you can go to flea markets around here that are like shabby chic, distressed, coffee tables. No, this flea market had all the stuff that I love. Every single booth was like DVDs, VHS, toys, collectibles, and I actually had to stop buying stuff. Like usually I would have picked up a ton more, but I had already spent so much money uh, on all of these amazing items. So let's jump into all of these pickups. I don't know if these are in order or not. Uh, I'm just going to start uh, rifling through all of this. So the first thing we have here is Alvin and the Chipmunks sing-alongs. Now there are all kinds of of sing-along VHSs, a lot of the Disney ones. Uh, I don't pick those up, I see those often, but Alvin the Chipmunks, anything that's like related over to 80s and 90s cartoons and toys and stuff like that, uh, I usually pick up. So had to get uh, this sing-along, uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks VHS. And then we got, here, let's go to this next. We got this CKY4. Guys, if you know, you know. This was huge uh, back for me when I was in high school and this is the latest and greatest uh, movie. Uh, this is wild, again, if you know, you know, just a bunch of shenanigans and pranks and skateboarding. So I got this to flip, I think, uh, ultimately, but I actually have a friend uh, that wants this. So gonna get that to him. And then our other movie is this VHS of Mummies Alive, feature length movie. Guys, I don't know. I have never seen this before. 
And apparently, I, th I guess this is a movie, maybe it's a show too? I don't know, but I had never heard of this before. Uh, and anytime I see stuff from, uh, you know, the 80s and 90s, my my, my era of, of growing up and I've never seen it before, I always wanna check it out and see if I miss out on something. And then we got one video game. Uh, this is Street Fighter IV and this is for the PS3. Did not have this in my personal collection and for like three bucks, I had to give it. There is not a bad Street Fighter game. So happy uh, to pick up Street Fighter IV for the PS3. Next up, we got two small figures. Uh, this first one is the Energizer Bunny. If you guys remember back in the 90s, uh, this was the mascot for uh, Energizer batteries. I don't know if the bunny still is now. I don't feel like I ever hear about the Energizer Bunny, but back in the day, uh, he was always in all of uh, the commercials. And this is a little squeeze light toy. Like why in the world was this a thing? Was this marketed towards kids? I don't know of any kids that would have wanted it, but now here I am, almost a 35 year old adult, and I, wa and I wanted it. So I got that, and then I got this buzz. I think this was a dollar, like literally one dollar, and I had to get this for, for my son, for my kiddo, right? So I think he just like, maybe, I th at first I thought maybe he like suctioned to a window or something, but I don't, I don't think I see that happening. But anyways, regardless, got a buzz for a dollar and the Energizer Bunny. Back buying more comics. Can't believe what we're doing at this point. I think 40 or 50 comics uh, in the comic book collection. We got X-Men 2099 and then the Uncanny X-Men. I've said it before in videos. I'm not sure of all of like the spin-offs of uh, the X-Men franchise, but these were speaking to me. Love that one. And I loved uh, the cover art of this one. You got Cyclops down there doing his thing. And then we got Flash, Born to Flash. These are all in amazing condition and they look pretty sweet. Got some ads for Soldiers of Fortune down there. And I think there was a, a Pizza Hut ad on the back of this one. So loved these. And I think these were like a dollar too. So couldn't pass it up. Only a couple more items to go through. But again, guys, I could have got so much more at this market, but our cart was already full. I had already spent so much money and it just gives me another reason to go back uh, to this market. But uh, the last couple things we got is this ET tray. Now, decisions had to be made at this point because there were two different ET trays. And I'm like, I don't, I don't really need both, but I love these old, these old trays, these old TV trays back in the day. You'd eat your cereal, you'd eat your dinner when you're a little kiddo and these are amazing. So the one I got is this one, it says ET phone home. It is pretty rough, uh, I will say. I feel like in the store, it didn't look this rough to me, but it, it is a little rough, but my son has already been using this to eat his dinner on. So I had to get the ET phone home tray. And then the last thing is this amazing X-Men Wolverine phone boxed. I've already talked about this before too, but I don't know what it is about the X-Men logo and colors that just scream 90s to me. They don't make toys uh, with packaging like this anymore. Like this just jumps out to you and, and it did to me. It jumped out to me at the flea market and I knew that I had to pick this up. So let me pull this out. And here it is guys, this beautiful Wolverine X-Men phone. I think this is my third or fourth phone. I got the Taz, I got the Mario Kart phone, and now I got this Wolverine phone. I just I just wish I had a landline to actually use these things, but this thing is gonna be a sweet, sweet display piece, man. I think it makes sounds also, like potentially X-Men sounds. I will never know because again, don't have, uh, don't have a landline, but love this piece. You guys tell me down below, what was your favorite thing? Seriously, what was your favorite thing in this uh, in this episode, man, I, I, I want to say it's probably the X-Men phone. I actually really want to check out that, that VHS mummy movie thing because I have no idea what that is, but probably, probably the Wolverine X-Men phone. You guys tell me down below. As always, thank you guys for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, if you are enjoying the retro hunting series, subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, peace.